Thank you for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Britt Marino. I'm Robert Hadlock. A computer system glitch in Houston led to the release of hundreds of people being held in jails there yesterday. Now, the glitch kept people who had been arrested waiting in custody for more than two days without having their case processed. That's longer than state law even allows, leading to those defendants being released. At least one judge blamed a backlog in cases, making it nearly impossible to hold defendants any longer. KXAN's Jayla Washington reports on how it's now drawing attention to a larger statewide issue. Those defendants simply couldn't get before a magistrate judge in a courtroom a lot like the one I'm in right now. So essentially, they ended up getting a get free card, at least for the time being. Though what happened in Houston is rare, backlog is a real concern for the entire state of Texas right now. You could expect an average of 186 criminal jury trials to be held across the state of Texas every week pre-pandemic. Last year, though, that number dropped to four. This is according to Texas 2036, a nonprofit that tracks this kind of information to help with data motivated strategies. The pandemic obviously kept us from resolving cases for a year and a half or so. Hayes County DA West Mao says all courts at various levels across the state are now playing catch up with little room for error or system glitches like Houston just saw, adding to its overall backlog. Texas lawmakers are doing some behind the scenes work to address how to speed up that process that could take up to five years, according to Texas 2036. It's not anything that's going to be simply fixed by creating courts, more judges or we're not going to take uh, a lot of uh, working on efficiencies on those cases. Joe Moody, a state representative from El Paso, is the vice chair of the House Criminal Justice Reform Committee. He's prepping for the next legislative session and says addressing court backlog is top of mind. Make sure that we're not clogging the system unnecessarily so that when we have unprecedented events like this, it doesn't create a crisis. Jayla Washington, KXAN News. Improving technology could be one way to address the court backlogs. Last session, lawmakers in Texas approved spending a half a million dollars each fiscal year it was to implement a technology modernization program. The funding could increase beyond $4 million per year, depending on how effective the program is at reducing court backlogs. 